wildlife biologist Eric Orff with my New Hampshire Fish and Wildlife YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, you know, I've written uh, hundreds, probably thousands of articles over my 50 year career uh, on a whole variety of fish and wildlife subjects and habitat and uh, and during my 30 plus year career at New Hampshire Fishing Game, I contributed there as well. And, uh, and as the bear biologist, the first New Hampshire black bear biologist beginning in 1978, you know, bears have been very close to me. And there were some, there are some, uh, some definitely some stories about bears, but I'm, I, here's an article I wrote, you know, and I actually thought about when I started doing my YouTube videos that I, w I would just read my stories. That's what I would do, but you know, I, I actually haven't gotten to that. So today I'm going to read a short story, a short article that I wrote some years back. It's called, Do Bears Hoot? Bear Myths and Medicine. It says, Bears have been animals of myth, mystery, mystique, and medicine for the millennium. All across the Northern Hemisphere, Native peoples revered bears as holders of great powers. Indeed, bears were believed to die each fall when they denned, and only to be reborn each spring. They were the keepers of the earth. Scandinavian, le Scandinavian legends speak of the ability of some people to assume the character characteristics of a bear. Our English word berserk comes from this legend. It was thought that if a warrior donned a bear skin, called a bear sock, he he would be given the power, strength, and stamina of a bear. Native Americans had similar legends. Did you get lost? Have you got your bearings straight? This is a word also related to bears. The North Star, the tip of the Little Dipper's handle, and the tip of the tail of the little bear has guided travelers for centuries. Interestingly, the big bear in which the Big Dipper appears points the way to the North Star. Bear parts and bear grease have long been used for medicinal powers. The early American settlers regularly applied bear grease to rent the rendered fat from bears to all sorts of ailments and such as arthritis. Some still believe in this use today. The bile from a bear's gallbladders have been used as a stomach medicine for hundreds of years. In the early 1980s, two doctors from Southwark Rear were doing research on bear gallbladders as, med as medicine while at the at Boston Hospital. I think it was Peter Bent Brigham, as I recall. The call went out for bear gallbladders. Well, frozen in Fishing Games freezer in Concord was a whole cluster of roadkill bears. We used to do the annual bear, the uh, roadkill auction. So I would save these bears and remove a tooth for my use, and we would sell these bears. So we used to sell the departments at the annual auction, it says. After the bears were thawed a little, and the doctors, the doctors came up and removed the gallbladders. The research found that indeed, bile in a bear, especially one near hibernation, could effectively, effectively dissolve gallstones. This acid named after bears is now synthesized and used to prevent gallstones. So, <laughs> look back, you know, 40 years ago, I helped doctors from Korea come up with a medicine that dissolves gallstones. So, uh, my, my little part was providing the bears, and I was there with bears when they needed them. Indeed, bears are good medicine for the body and the soul. By the way, there was a long-held belief in New England that bears hoop in the spring to communicate with each other, especially during breeding season, which is June here in New Hampshire. This is a legend only common in the Northeast and does not seem to be supported by scientists. Even I recall Howie Now was the chief of the game division in the 80s, and uh, he, he, I think, grew up in the Upper Valley, and he was a true believer that bears hoot. He had stories about hooting bears, one of the few people I ever heard it from, but it is a common belief. But uh, from folks like Ben Killam, who's raised bears for years, uh, none of them have heard bears hooting, so I guess uh, it's a common belief, especially in a certain part of New Hampshire, but it certainly is not supported by a scientific uh, determination. So yes, bears have magical powers.